biggest election begins in India today, April the 19th. Spanned over 44 days and divided into seven phases, the Lok Sabha elections will give India its new federal government after the counting of votes on June 4. Let's break the election numbers for you. Hello, this is Gulam Jilani and you are watching Live Mint. India's Lok Sabha, also known as the lower house of the parliament, has 543 seats. To form a government at the center, a party or a coalition needs to secure a majority by winning at least 50% of these seats. This comes to 272 Lok Sabha seats. These elections to the 18th Lok Sabha will be held in seven phases across 28 states and eight union territories of the country. In the first phase being held today, 102 Lok Sabha seats in 21 states and union territories are voting. The next six phases will be held on April 26, May 7, May 13, May 20, May 25 and June 1st. The counting of votes will take place on June 4, which is the day of results. At least 968 million people are eligible to cast votes in these elections. This is about six times the voting population of the US, which will also elect its next president later this year. Over the seven phases, the voting will be held using 55 lakh electronic voting machines at about 1.5 million polling booths. There is a polling booth every 2 kilometers on an average in India. Of India's eligible voters, 497 million are men, 471 million are women. From about 197 million young eligible voters, 18 million are eligible to vote for the first time. About 82 lakh voters are aged above 85 years and about 2 lakh eligible voters are above 100 years old. The BJP leads the ruling National Democratic Alliance. This alliance is being challenged by the India bloc and amalgamation of opposition parties led by the Congress party. Do you know how much does an election cost in India? Well, the expenditure by the central government for Lok Sabha elections in 2014 was around rupees 4000 crore. This includes expenditure towards offices, preparation and printing of electoral roll and photo identity cards. This however doesn't include the expenditure by the candidates. The Committee on One Nation One Election that submitted its report in March this year puts the estimates of conducting national and state elections at anything between rupees 4 to 7 lakh crores. The world's most populous country, India, has more than 2500 political parties. Only 10 of these parties hold 86% of the seats in the Lok Sabha. For all such numbers and videos, keep watching Live Mint as we track the Lok Sabha elections for you.